welcome to Spice and Pens. If you like our channel, please hit subscribe and thank you for watching. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today I'm going to show you how to make this spicy chili pot, or known as Chi Wei Ji. What I have over here is one kilogram of chicken, two tablespoons of a uh, oyster sauce, two tablespoons of soy sauce, light soy sauce, three tablespoons of dark soy sauce, and two tablespoons of Hua Tiao Jiu or Chinese cooking oil. I'm going to put all this together into here and marinate this. Stir it in well. Make sure every meat has been uh, touched by the sauces. Next up, we're going to heat the pan and then we're going to fry some of the chilies and the other condiments which I'm going to show you in a while. Okay. Once that the pan is heated up, put some oil in. Point also the two tablespoons of a uh, sesame seed oil. And what we are doing now is we are going to fry the fragrances. Alright. Have a two teaspoon of this uh, Sichuan peppercorns, a thumb size of a uh, ginger that I slice, approximately about 12 pieces of uh, garlic and six pieces of the chili party which I'm going to fry all together. Now some of the fragrances out. What I'm going to add in here is also dried chili, which I've already hydrated. Okay, approximately about 20 pieces of them. Smells really, really good. Try that until you can get the smell of the spices all out. Smells really spicy right now. So what do we do? I'm going to do right now. Is <coughs> adding two tablespoons of lato banjiang of rock mushroom paste. I have also sliced in um, <coughs> two onions. <laughs> If the pot is a bit dry, feel free to add in some more oil. Add in the chicken, pepper to everything. One casting, three stalks of celery, ten dried mushroom if I hydrated also and cut into half, and we stir them all in together. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in some water, approximately about six cups. This is a four cup plus another two more cup. We're going to use this as a base for steamboat actually. So. I'll be boiling this for approximately about 20 minutes. If you have made chicken stock in advance, this would be great. Instead of water, I can use chicken stock, but I did not. So what I'm going to add in is, I'm going to add in a cube of the chicken stock. We're just going to cover it and let it boil for approximately about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes has passed. Let's just have a look at how our chicken is doing. It's boiling very nicely. Stir them around a little bit. I'm going to add in approximately about one tablespoon of uh, sugar to neutralize the spiciness a little bit. Okay. I'm going to add in. Please do taste before you want to add in any salt or anything like that. 
Just to make sure that I mean it's solid enough for you. Mm, very nice. I think you can do about half a teaspoon of salt. It's not very spicy, so don't worry. Okay. I like my chicken to be a little bit dark, so I'm going to add in a little bit more of the dark soy sauce. And now we are done. So later, I'm going to use this for, for steamboat. So in the event, if there's not enough soup, what you can do is either you prepare chicken soup beforehand, or what you do is just add in hot water, plus a cube of the chicken stock cube. All right, let me just dish them up. I'm going to to put some um, cabbage on the on the other pot. So I'm going to show you um, actually as a base itself. So I'm just going to pour all this into there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the spicy chicken pot, also known as qi wei ji. Okay, these are some of the ingredients that we want to go along with it uh, because we are having steamboat tonight. So I hope you like our recipe. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.